A single human cell teems with as many 100,000 different proteins. Actin is one of the most abundant and essential of them all. This protein forms into filaments that help make up the skeleton of cells, giving them shape. And as the actin filaments elongate, they work like muscles, pushing against the inner membrane of a cell to move it forward. Actin filaments are particularly abundant beneath the plasma membrane, where they form a network that provides mechanical support, determines cell shape, and allows movement of the cell surface, thereby enabling cells to migrate, engulf particles, and divide. Three other proteins are known to drive the activities of actin. One class of protein assembles individual actin molecules into actin filaments, another causes the filaments to stop growing and a third disassembles filaments. A polymerase protein, such as formin, drives elongation of actin. Formin positions itself at the end of an actin filament, grabs onto free-floating actin molecules and stacks them up one by one to keep growing the end. Depolymerase proteins, such as twinfilin, are another class of proteins that influence actin. Twinfilin works like a lint roller, binding to the end of a filament and peeling away one molecule at a time. Twinfilin can repeat the process to disassemble the actin filament entirely. Proteins known as cappers can stop the elongation and disassembling of the filaments. A capper attaches to the end of an actin filament and covers it like a hat, blocking activity by the other proteins.